July 1st, 2025, a routine scan of the heavens becomes extraordinary when the Atlas telescopes detect a mysterious traveler entering from the galactic core. Designated 3I Atlas, it marks only the third verified interstellar object ever seen. Within weeks, NASA unveils the clearest photo yet, showing this rare wanderer skimming dangerously close to the sun. For astronomers, it offers the first high-definition glimpse of material likely formed around another star. Excitement spreads fast, but so do the questions. What revelations lie hidden in that image? Could the light itself carry traces of something truly alien? The search for answers starts here. On July 1, 2025, the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, ATLAS, detected a strange signal, faint, yet clearly moving at a speed and angle unlike any known solar system object. Automated alerts reached observatories worldwide, and astronomers quickly began gathering positional data and running orbital models. The numbers told a decisive story. This was not an ordinary comet. Its hyperbolic trajectory showed it wasn't orbiting the sun, but passing through on a one-time path. That fact alone separated it from billions of gravitationally bound solar system bodies. Its approach traced back toward the star-dense region of Sagittarius, home to the Milky Way's crowded center. Measurements confirmed what models suggested. 3i Atlas was traveling far too fast to ever return becoming only the third confirmed interstellar object after Oumuamua in 2017 and Borisov in 2019. As new observations refined its orbit, they reinforced its origin beyond our solar system, likely from another stellar nursery, millions or even billions of years ago. The discovery triggered a global response. Telescopes raced to capture data before the object's brief visit ended, since hyperbolic trajectories offer only a narrow observational window. Thanks to Atlas's alert and rapid coordination, the interstellar nature was established with certainty. The mission then turned to clarity to produce the sharpest possible image before 3 i Atlas disappeared into sunlight. Within minutes of detection, the astronomy community surged into action. Amateur observers across Australia, Poland, and South Africa began sharing their own images online, some using small backyard telescopes, others advanced university setups. Forums buzzed with coordinates and live tracking updates. Everyone wanted a glimpse before it became too close to the sun. Citizen science networks joined in, while Zooniverse volunteers scoured survey archives for earlier sightings. Sky and telescope users mapped its motion across Sagittarius, refining the orbital path and confirming its escape trajectory. Professional astronomers moved fast. Major observatories in Chile, Hawaii, and Spain adjusted schedules, trading observation time across time zones. Within hours, the European Southern Observatory captured early frames and sent them to NASA's Minor Planet Center for rapid calculations. In Japan, High school students using a public telescope added another crucial data point. Collaboration paid off. By the end of the week, hundreds of observations were submitted from over two dozen nations, a true example of borderless science fueled by curiosity. With the orbit secured and an interstellar origin confirmed, the next step began, obtaining the clearest image possible before sunlight interference grew too strong. The world's largest telescopes now took over. On July 21, 2025, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope, using its Wide Field Camera 3, captured a single groundbreaking frame, hailed by NASA and the European Space Agency as the sharpest image yet of 3i Atlas. At 277 million miles from Earth and inbound, the object was speeding toward the inner solar system's glare, soon to vanish from ground-based view. Imaging such a faint, fast-moving body so close to the sun was a major challenge. Each photon mattered as solar glare threatened to overpower the signal. Hubble engineers applied advanced techniques. The WFC-3's ultra-sensitive detectors and fine-tuned filters isolated the comet's faint glow, while digital image stacking algorithms aligned multiple exposures, correcting for movement and telescope drift after calibration and processing, the comet's compact nucleus and delicate dust halo appeared clearly, 
showing structure never visible before. Hubble Sun shield and precision pointing further reduced stray light, while real-time simulations predicted its exact location for safe imaging. The final image revealed a sharp, shining nucleus surrounded by a fragile dusty coma, clear proof of ice is sublimating as it neared the sun. All data were stored in the Mikulski archive for space telescopes, for peer review and future research. Compared to earlier interstellar objects, Oumuamua and Borisov, this achievement marked a vast leap in clarity and scientific value. Where previous efforts yielded only blurred streaks, Hubble provided a detailed look at the Dichy race. Morphology of an interstellar comet interacting with solar radiation near Mars's orbit. The resulting image wasn't just a technical triumph, it became a cornerstone for future studies of interstellar composition and dynamics and a tribute to the collaboration and engineering that made capturing this fleeting guest from beyond the stars possible. On August 7, 2025, NASA and ESA unveiled the image to the world, instantly dubbed by global media as the sharpest ever portrait of 3i Atlas near the sun. In the midst of a hectic news cycle, one image manages to command universal attention. It's more than an impressive photo. It's the foundational frame that future research, modeling, and simulations will rely on for years ahead. Captured by Hubble's Wide Field Camera 3 on July 21st, this image defines the comet's dimensions, the structure of its surrounding halo, and the first visible signs of dust streaming off under the sun's heat. The nucleus is barely a pen-sized point, less than a kilometer wide, encircled by a faint, balanced glow. For scientists studying planetary materials, this stands as the benchmark. Every subsequent measurement, whether from orbiters around Mars or solar observatories, will connect back to this visual milestone. NASA's communications team leaned into the superlatives, calling it the sharpest image ever taken the first to reveal a galactic wanderer in such crisp detail. The European Space Agency's Hubble Outreach Team amplified that message further, promoting the picture as the cornerstone of their research campaign. The date, August 7th, entered the record books as the defining moment of discovery. From professional researchers to school classrooms, everyone now had a single, verified frame to reference as the comet continued its approach to the sun. Every raw exposure and processed dataset was preserved within the Mikulski Archive for Space Telescopes, publicly accessible for anyone to analyze or re-examine. It wasn't merely a technical success, it became a shared global event that focused scientific and public curiosity on a lone visitor from outside our solar system. The clarity of the image carried meaning beyond prestige. It formed the factual anchor for all the questions that followed. How does an interstellar comet respond to solar radiation? What secrets about distant star systems are trapped in its dust and gas? As sunlight grew stronger and the object slipped further from direct detection, the precision of that single frame became invaluable. Soon Earth's observatories would lose visibility entirely. For the moment, however, every scientist, headline, and computational model revolved around one picture, the sharpest ever captured of a true interstellar traveler. Solar conjunction inevitably complicates observation. As 3i Atlas neared its closest pass to the sun, known as perihelion, on October 30th, 2025, ground-based telescopes were rendered powerless. The sun's brilliance overwhelmed optical sensors, erasing the faint light of the inbound interstellar object. For several weeks, it remained hidden behind the solar glare out of reach from Earth-based and near-Earth instruments. This period, termed solar conjunction, acts as a blackout for astronomers, cutting off direct line-of-sight observations. Unfortunately, the timing couldn't be worse. Just before perihelion, on September 25th, the Sun unleashed a coronal mass ejection that sent a torrent of charged particles through the region of space the comet was crossing. Its effects on 3i Atlas's fragile nucleus and gaseous halo couldn't be monitored in real time due to the observational blackout. With Earth's view obstructed, scientists relied on spacecraft from different vantage points, solar probes, 
orbiters around Mars and deep space missions to continue watching from angles unaffected by the sun's interference. The fear of missing critical moments, outbursts, fragmentation, or volatile surges was justified. Each lost observation meant missing potentially transformative data about an interstellar body under intense solar pressure. To minimize gaps, mission teams activated every off-axis asset available, racing to track the comet before it disappeared behind the sun's glare and re-emerged altered. Mars became a key observation hub when three OIS Atlas soared past on October 3rd, at just about 28 million kilometers away, close enough for orbiters like ESA's Mars Express, NASA's MAVEN, and the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter to capture detailed imaging and spectral data. For a short interval, these spacecraft had an unparalleled view, free from the blinding sunlight that hampered Earth's telescopes. The flyby data from Mars later proved crucial in constraining the comet's size, brightness, and composition, providing unique insights that no other mission could replicate. At the same time, the Solar Observing Spacecraft took over. The Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, SOHO, stationed at the Sun-Earth L1 point, maintained steady coverage using its LOSCO coronagraph, which blocks the Sun's bright disk, allowing even faint nearby objects to be seen clearly. Stereo A, orbiting ahead of Earth, offered a fresh viewing angle. Its heliospheric imagers successfully tracked 3 i Atlas as it skimmed the Sun's edge. These instruments, designed originally to observe solar flares and coronal ejections, unexpectedly became chroniclers of a comet from another star. Even the Parker Solar Probe and the Solar Orbiter, both dedicated to studying the Sun's outer layers, managed to capture fragments of imagery and data whenever their vantage points aligned. This remarkable coverage was only possible through international collaboration. NASA, ESA, JAXA, and Roscosmos coordinated observation schedules, shared data channels, and integrated analysis systems. While Earth's telescopes were temporarily blinded by sunlight, the story of 3i Atlas continued through these distant robotic sentinels, each one adding a critical frame to ensure no part of its cosmic passage went undocumented. The research didn't halt because of the sun, it evolved finding new ways to observe through different eyes across the solar system. Early data returns from Mars and solar missions are already clarifying the nature of 3i Atlas. The comet's bright shroud of gas and dust, known as the coma, displays the usual traits, water vapor, carbon monoxide, and a faint tail formed by solar heating. Spectra captured by ESA's Mars Express and the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter reveal a chemical makeup that generally matches known solar system comets, though with minor variations in carbon-based compound ratios. So far, there is no sign of exotic chemistry, but astronomers remain vigilant for anomalies as more light measurements come through. One early surprise arises from polarization studies. Scattered light from dust in Atlas's coma shows an unusually strong negative polarization, far more intense than what has been seen in any solar system comet or even the previous interstellar visitor, Borisov. This strange polarization might suggest irregularly shaped dust grains or unique coatings, potentially remnants of its ancient stellar birthplace. Dynamically, the object remains remarkably stable no unexplained thrust, no fragments, just a classic comet bound only by gravity as it races toward deep space on a one-way journey. Scientists emphasize that while the broader narrative is clear, every update adds nuance as fresh data arrives. NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office approached the 3i Atlas event as a full-scale readiness test, even though Earth was never at risk. The comet's hyperbolic orbit and safe distance nullified any hazard, yet the event offered a live drill for communication systems and rapid coordination worldwide. Teams conducted scenario exercises to simulate how agencies would react if an interstellar object ever posed a threat. Insights from those rehearsals are already feeding into updated near-Earth object detection and response protocols. Meanwhile, the academic momentum hasn't slowed. 
A preprint for publication in Astrophysical Journal Letters is in progress, expected to deliver the first peer-reviewed synthesis of Hubble's imaging with Mars orbiter data. That work is likely to establish the framework for how future interstellar objects will be mapped, analyzed, and compared. Under the open data policy, every spectrum and pixel remains publicly accessible, inviting researchers everywhere to examine and search for their own interpretations, expanding understanding of the substances drifting between stars. For planetary defense planners, the message is direct, even distant, harmless objects serve as invaluable rehearsals for unexpected cosmic encounters. For the scientific community, each interstellar visitor acts as a messenger from regions beyond imagination. The detailed imagery captured today will guide how humanity observes, prepares, and wonders about the next visitor from another sun. On July 21st, 2025, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope achieved a milestone by capturing the most detailed image of 3i Atlas from 277 million miles away, a moment later confirmed by NASA and ESA on August 7th. This third confirmed interstellar traveler, first identified by the Atlas survey on July 1st, 2025, offered researchers a once-in-a-lifetime glimpse of matter formed outside our solar system. From amateur astronomers to orbiters circling Mars, Coordinated global teams overcame the challenges of solar glare and data gaps during its near pass. Their measurements confirmed the presence of a gas coma, an unusually strong negative polarization pattern, and no evidence of non-gravitational shifts up to early October 2025. Still, significant mysteries remain. Its composition, precise point of origin, and what such objects might mean for planetary defense strategies. As new papers complete review, the 3i Atlas campaign endures as a landmark for international coordination and scientific agility. Its clearest image represents far more than a triumph of engineering. It's proof of how much humanity can learn and how much we have yet to uncover when a wanderer from the stars graces our sky.